Tottenham nil, Man City two. It's over. So there's no way that Manchester City lose to West Ham on the final day of the season. Tottenham was our last hope. And I hate the fact that we had to depend on Tottenham. But after we dropped points to Aston Villa, we needed somebody to do something. We looked at Wolves. They got smashed. We looked at Fulham. They got beat. We looked at Brighton. They got beat. And our last hope was Tottenham. Our North London rival. And they started off the game so well. They played well to start the game. Defensively resolute. They did not concede too many chances. And today, Manchester City go top of the Premier League after the 2-0 victory versus uh, Tottenham. But at halftime, Tottenham kept it respectable. It was nil-nil until the 51st minute. And I thought there were some moments where Tottenham in the final third, if they just had a little bit more cutting edge, they could have maybe got something from it. But I don't think they had the intentions to get anything from this game. Maybe they they defended well. You could tell Dragonson wanted to play well. You could tell Van de Ven cared about this game. Bentancourt, when he came off the pitch, was literally about to kick, kick off with everybody. But damn, it wasn't meant to be. The 51st minute, Kevin De Bruyne gets the ball after, of course, Phil Foden and R Romero, out of all people, doesn't go in on a challenge with, with Phil Foden, lets him play the ball across. He goes all the way to the other end. I think Bernardo Silva slips in Kevin De Bruyne, and then boom, back of the net, tap in for Erling Haaland when it comes across goal. And now Kevin De Bruyne, of course, he does get injured during the match and comes off, but with that assist, becomes the top, the second top Premier League assister of all time, surpassing Seth Fabregas. Now, I'll give him credit. He is one of the best midfielders of Premier League in the Premier League's history, and he's inevitable, similar to Erling Haaland, similar to this Man City team. They just find a way. But today, I thought, especially when... Um, Ederson came off injured. Ortega, this was the Ortega game. Ortega made this game his. His heroics to save Manchester City's league title campaign. He single-handedly saved Man City's league title campaign, guys. And I'm not trolling when I say this. The man made save after save after save after save. And he just did not stop. Of course, this now means Aston Villa have secured top four and, and Tottenham are out of the top four race, ending the season at best at fifth. Pep Guardiola, Erling Haaland, smug faces as they walk off the pitch, victory, victorious. And Pedro Porro, absolute garbage that guy is, giving away a penalty for the second goal. What was he doing? The whole game, he was useless in the final third, every single time, passing the ball, making mistakes constantly. But you know what made me the most triggered out of all things? Out of all things, out of everything in this game, the most clinical player, one of the most clinical finishers in world football, plays for Tottenham. Han Min Son, through on goal, 85th minute. He scores this, it's 1-1, with all of it to still be playing for it. You can say Ortega's made an amazing save, or you can just say he shot it straight at the keeper. I picked the latter. Let me know what you think. To me, this was the moment of the game. This was the moment, the penultimate moment of the season. If this goes in in the back of the net, who knows what happens. Maybe Man City still go on to score a second. But damn. 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 I'm annoyed. I'm I'm pissed off. 
mostly at Tottenham because they had not one chance. They had a couple chances. There's another one here. It's a tough angle. You need to get the ball to somebody. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. They just couldn't do it. Tottenham could not do it. Tottenham could not do it today. And with that being said, Man City are one step closer to the 4P. I don't know what to say to you guys. I honestly don't know what to say to you guys. I sit here and I look around and I say to myself, I still see a team that is capable of winning this league. And maybe to this year wasn't our year. Maybe this year is the year that we that we come short once again. But I do believe this team will get over the line. I do believe this team has what it takes to win the league. But it's not our year right now. Still Man City's league. Still Pep Guardiola's league. We came short. We won 14 out of our last 16 games and we still did not win the Premier League. At this point, I just sit here and I say to myself, what, what more can we do? I know you're going to probably say, oh, what the more you could have done is to go beat uh, Aston Villa. We can't go back in the past. We, we can't do, we can't right the wrongs in the past. We can't. We can't. All we can do at this point is to suck it up, take it like a man, keep it moving to next season, and we go and we try to go again. At this moment in time, it's painful. And if you're an Arsenal fan, you're probably upset, annoyed, dejected, don't know what to say. But if you're a rival fan laughing at Arsenal, take a look at yourself. Where are you in the league table? If you're a Manchester United fan, Chelsea fan, Spurs fan, even Liverpool fan, how many points are you behind Arsenal? You guys keep talking shit as you guys brought away in mediocrity. So I'm not going to sit here and take banter from any, all you rivals because my I know where my team is headed. We're still going to be headed for greatness. We still have a very good young squad. And I don't think this team is going anywhere anytime soon. And before I go, before I go, I'm gonna do a full. Uh, I'm gonna do a full video tomorrow with the panel and everything, talking about it. But Tottenham Hotspur, you don't deserve nothing nice. Liverpool fans, respect, because you know this pain. Respect to the Liverpool fans. Respect to. The Liverpool fan base. They know this pain. And if we come and now that we've come in second, I'm not happy. But we gotta go again next season. It is what it is. We, there's one final game to be played. We know West Ham are not gonna beat them. Let's just go beat the brakes off Everton. And and end off the season strong in front of the home fans. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave you guys there. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys on my next video. And, and you already know what it is. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like, hit the subscribe. But yeah, I'm not happy. Peace.